Okay, so uh, here is my Soundcraft Spirit FX 16 uh, mixing board. Um, this was about to be tossed because of some intermittency issues as well as a missing power supply and today um, what I wanted to do was a test an alternative power supply uh, made by Yamaha to see if it'll actually power this FX16. Um, the Yamaha power supply is this uh, PA30 unit right here. Originally it came with this uh, three-prong uh, mic cable style power connector and I converted it to this four-pronger to fit the Soundcraft FX16. Um, you can see that the power supply right there is a four-pronger. Also, this unit is a unit that was purchased in Japan. And so you can see here that the AC voltage is 100 volts um, and 50 to 60 uh, hertz. And so what I have is I have a, a step up and down transformer right there. Goes from 120 up from 120 down to 100 or 100 up to 120. And uh, this Soundcraft unit does not have a power switch. Um, and so I'm going to use my step up and down transformer as a power switch for this test. So, um, so I've got this hooked up to a Yamaha P800 power amp going out to two Yamaha SM151V uh, monitor speakers. So we'll get some things hooked up and see how it goes. Okay, so this board has what's called a two-track return for stereo inputs um, for something such as my uh, iPod here, um, an old iPod. And um, that comes through this uh, two-track section right here. Do you see that where it says two track to mix? So I'm going to just connect first, connect this uh, stereo input right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, two track to mix button and press that. That should send it to the mix. I'm going to bring up my levels just about there. And make sure that my audio is playing, which I think it is. And if I put up this volume, I should get some signal, which I am. Yeah. So my two-track channel input is working just fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hook up a mic. I've got this uh, SM588SDX, kind of an old um, speaking mic. I'm going to go ahead and put this in channel 1. And uh, let's see. Get that in there. Slider's down. Verifying that my slider is down. Um, I've got my sensitivity up to about 50 percent and my mic should work at this point when i put the volume up to one two three one two one two one two one two so i don't know if you can hear that but i'm getting um sound out of my speaker so that's cool now let me see if my mm, lexicon effects are working. Right now, I have the lexicon effect set at Hall Reverb number eight, and I've already got the parameters set. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get a level on this. So I need to get some, um, I need to get my lexicon effects, which is channel auxiliary four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on AFL. And I'm going to go ahead and give 
my channel one effects send um, some signal. And I'm going to go ahead and try to make sure that my send level on the AFL is check, 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 check. I'm trying to get that to zero. That's where I want my effects at. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Wow, that's almost maxed out, it seems like. Um, but that is good. And then when I turn up the, oh, t I need to turn off the AFL. And when I turn up the master for the lexicon right here, make sure that's on mix, it is, then I should start hearing some reverb. Oh yeah, there it is, reverb, reverb. Yep, so channel one is working real good. I just have to now do this for all channels and make sure that uh, the rest of the channels are working fine. So I'll check that out. Okay, so um, I went through all of my low impedance inputs and output for uh, channels one through 16, and everything's working out really well. The knobs are fine, getting panning as well as uh, scratch-free slide knob working, and the uh, uh, lexicon effects are working in all channels and working fine. So I'm going to just go and into channel seven and do a line uh, high impedance check and see how that sounds. I should be getting signal uh, in from this guitar and I should be getting my effects out and I should be getting sound. <laughs> is working real well as well so um, I'm gonna check high impedance for all channels and just make sure things are working just fine and I think that means this power supply Yamaha PA30 is working as a fine substitute for the original um, Soundcraft PSU awesome Okay, so um, I'm uh, very satisfied with this test. All my high impedance, low impedance inputs are working. Um, effects are working just fine. All um, pots are not scratchy and working and clean now. And so I think I got this thing working really, really well. And indeed, this Yamaha PA30 is a very good a substitute, capable substitute for the original um, power supply for this uh, Soundcraft FX16. So um, the only thing left to do is do a burn-in test and just make sure that this uh, PA or PSU works fine over a long period of use. So. I'll be doing that um, very soon in a live situation, but I think it's going to work out just fine. So, cheers, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, P30 
PSU substitute video for this Soundcraft FX16. Thanks for watching.